In this video, we'll be looking at paragraph and line spacing. Usually when you do some typing, we've already talked about creating paragraphs. And at the end of the paragraph, we press the Enter key to start a new paragraph. What generally happens when you press the Enter key is that it comes down straight underneath. And in order to get a space like we have here, we press the Enter key again. The problem with doing that is that you sometimes forget, as I have between these two paragraphs, or sometimes you press it more than once, as I have here. There's two blank lines between these paragraphs, and further down I've got two there as well. So I'm ending up with a very inconsistent document. So the space in between the paragraphs is one line, no lines, two lines, two lines. Not very professional. Let's switch on the show hide to see that effect again. We can see there at the end of the first paragraph, I pressed the enter key once and then pressed it again to get a space. Between these two paragraphs, I just pressed the enter key once and here I've pressed it once, two, three times. Not very professional. So we're going to look at a way of um, making it consistent, making the computer do the work for you. Golden rule. Never press the enter key more than once. Pressing the enter key once creates a new paragraph. That's all you want to do. Let the computer do the rest of the work for you. And we do that using something called paragraph spacing. Paragraph spacing works on the whole paragraph. So that means you can select the paragraph if you want to, or you can simply Make sure that your cursor insertion point is somewhere on that paragraph because the effect will be applied to the whole paragraph. We use the format menu and drop down to paragraph. Now we've already looked at this in terms of the alignment settings at the top and the indentation settings. We're now using the third section, the spacing settings. We're using these two boxes here, which allows us to set a spacing before or after the paragraph. I'm going to use the after spacing and add some spacing after the paragraph. We can use these rollover arrows to change that. I'm going to set it at 12 points. That means it's linked to the, the font size of the, um, of the text. If that doesn't say a point, it could say a line, um, you can overwrite it and just type points into there. It's always safest to, to stick to 12, uh, to a number of points. Um, OK, so then we click on OK. And you can see what's happened here on this first paragraph, because that's all that I had selected. I've still only got one enter key press, but I've now got a space between the paragraphs. Let's do that again on this paragraph. I'll select it so you can see it. Format. Paragraph. And adjust the spacing after. Let's adjust it before as well to six point before, 12 points after, and see what effect that has. What that has done, again, without any enter key presses, is put a six point space above this paragraph and a 12 point space below it. We'll look at that once more, select the last paragraph, format, paragraph, and we'll just set a before setting there, 24, 30, we'll set it just to be silly. And you can see we've got a nice big space there. Now obviously that is still looking very inconsistent, which is what I was trying to avoid. So that's not the way you do it, obviously, doing it on each individual paragraph. Let's undo that a few times. Obviously what you would do is select all your paragraphs at once and then do format paragraph and make your settings how you want them to be. I'm just going to put 12 points after and OK. I've got a nice consistent document. I'm only pressing the Enter key once after each paragraph. We've got, I've got nice spacing between them. Nice and consistent. Even better is this before you even start typing. 
when you've got a totally blank document. Set it up now. Do format, paragraph, and set up how you want your paragraphs to be, how you want your spacings to be. And that means whenever you do your typing, from now on, anywhere in this document, those settings will be automatically applied. You see, I've automatically got my paragraph spacing there. And obviously I use that shortcut to put some typing in, but you can do some normal typing. Every time you press the Enter key, you've got paragraph spacing. So I'm only pressing the Enter key once, and we've got some nice spacing there. So that's using paragraph spacing. But there's one other thing that we can look at on the Format Paragraph menu. If I select the first paragraph. Again, this is a paragraph setting, so I don't have to select it. I can just click on it. And if we do Format, Paragraph, just this last bit here, the line spacing. This is the spacing between the individual lines of the paragraph. And the default is to be single line spacing, but we can change it. Let's make it double line spacing. And OK. And you can see that I've now got a spacing between each line of the paragraph. Let's try that on the next paragraph. I won't select it this time. I'll just click on it. Format, paragraph. Let's make this um, exactly. And then we can change the exact spacing. Let's make it exactly 13, 14 points. Click on OK. And then it's given us a 14 point spacing. It's not very much between each line. Once more, select a paragraph, format, paragraph, change the line spacing, let's make it one and a half times this time. That's using good practice to space out your document without having to press the Enter key more than once. So my golden rule is, whenever you start a new document, Go into your format and paragraphs and set up your spacing. And then you've got a nice, consistent document to work with.